Welcome back, everybody. Going to talk about choosing your favorite source now that we've had an amazing new firmware update. So thank you, product development team. You guys knocked it out of the park. Uh, you can actually see one of the very snazzy new backgrounds that are available. But favorite sources. You can hook up all of the stuff to your new line. It's amazing. You're, you're not going to run a run out of options here. So you can see I actually have quite a few things hooked up. Uh, so in my front type C port, I actually have a Chromebook plugged in. I do have a Windows computer uh, plugged into my rear type C port. I have my MacBook, which I'll say is my primary display. I have that uh, hooked up into my HDMI 3 port. So all of the options. You may have seen in previous videos, we always call the first icon over here in the six pack, your favorite source icon. If you do a press and hold, by all means, you can pick whatever you want. So I'm going to keep that uh, with my rear type C. That's where I have my Windows device plugged in. That's probably my second most frequently used device. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that one there. If I want to rename that because I do have a bunch of stuff plugged in, all I have to do is click that little icon there down in the rectangle. Click this rectangle and I can do Windows. So that way I know that is my Windows computer. And I hit OK, and we're good there. But the really exciting thing is over on my right side where uh, I have my toolbar, that first icon, if you are somebody that does not have the optional built-in OPS, this icon now can be changed to anything you want, uh, any source. So I'm going to go ahead, press and hold. There are your options because with new line, you got options. Uh, in here, like I said, uh, my HDMI 3 is my MacBook that is my primary teaching device. So I can go ahead and choose HDMI 3. Boop, there we go. So it has the HDMI icon, which I can recognize. And then the number three showing me that that is my third port. For example, if I switched it to HDMI 2, uh, I still have the HDMI icon, but it's going to be port number two. But I'll go back to HDMI 3 because that's actually where I have something plugged in. And I'm going to go just back home. There we go. I can tap that icon now. There we go. I am in my Mac computer. I can set all of my favorite sources, fully customizing that home screen. Definitely makes my life easier and really, really great when you have more than one device plugged in because now you can have favorite sources uh, in more than one spot. And of course, just kind of going back to, I'll say the old reliable. You can tap any of your active sources. You'll get your source preview. Boop, you can tap the preview and it'll take you right there. So hopefully this helps and makes things easier for you to navigate and personalize your new line just a little bit more. Have a great day. We'll talk again soon.